So I got a pack of cheap white Hanes t-shirts, and this is kind of what they look like. And I was thinking it would be kind of fun to paint them. After all, I have a whole shop full of paint, and I have never purposely used this type of paint on fabric before. You know, other than all the paint stains on most of my clothes. But I was curious to see how regular paint would turn out. You know, on t-shirts just to play around. And I thought, hey, maybe someone else would like to do this too. Actually, first I started with a test shirt. Here it is. And I used pretty much all kinds of paint on it. Oil-based paint, latex paint, 3D paint, regular fabric paint, spray paint. I used some stencils. Oh, and I used some permanent markers and uh, more spray paint and then I washed the shirt. And everything looked good afterwards. Of course, I can't speak for many, many washes, but hey, I'm making statement shirts here, so I really don't concern myself with that too much. Overall though, I really liked the oil paint the best. It had the nicest feel, so I decided to pretty much use that. So let's get started and paint some shirts. First up, I got a rough measurement of the shirt, and then I cut up some foam board to put inside of it. Uh, this is to prevent the paint from bleeding through to the other side of the shirt. Okay, so to set the tone, let's start out with a familiar symbol, YouTube. So I printed out the logo from the web, and I put it inside the shirt and basically traced from there, using a brush and red oil paint. Of course, uh, free printing is probably my favorite, and then you can pretty much write anything, you know? Also, check out this cool overhead camera setup. I'll probably make a video of it sometime soon. Another fun thing is to cut out your own stencils. Just print out your message and cut out the letters with an X-Acto knife. Of course, making sure you don't completely cut out the whole letter, little holders, or else your letters will look very weird. And then you tape down your stencil and you can either use spray paint or you can use regular paint and apply with a sponge. And you can make a stencil about whatever, like the uh, quickest way to beat someone in chess, for example. Of course, you can express all sorts of things on t-shirts, and why not play around with making chubbier letters with an outline? Although when it comes down to it, inspirational might be best after all. And uh, you can always make a design you like on paper, and then again, put it inside the shirt and use it to trace on. And remember, if you get any drops of paint or whatever, incorporate it into the design. It was always meant to be there. However, maybe the most useful application of all when it comes to painting shirts, and especially when stenciling, is if you have a logo or a brand or something else like that. Then you can make a shirt with that on. Like this one. Also, if anyone would like one, I might put a few in the shop and make some more Darwin Orbis shirts in different sizes, if anyone is interested. Thanks for watching!